was Grant a butcher? Ulysses S. Grant today sometimes has the reputation of being a butcher, that he sent men headlong into battle in frontal charges time and time again, mindlessly trying to hammer away at Confederate positions at a terrible cost of life. Unfortunately, he's been saddled with that because of a lot of propaganda, particularly in post-war years. Um, in fact, Grant did use a lot of headlong charges, but it was one of several tools that he kept in his toolbox. If you look at the Overland campaign in 1864 as an example, he did frontal assaults, but he also did a lot of maneuvers. He also tried to improvise and adapt and change and learn from what he was up to. So in fact, Grant had many tools at his disposal. If we rewind to 1863, looking at the Vicksburg campaign, it's an excellent example of Grant's ability to move and maneuver and adapt on the fly. Unfortunately, he's remembered most for those headlong charges because they're dramatic and bloody and because they served a propaganda purpose to try to deflate his successes. But in fact, there are instances where Robert E. Lee lost more men in frontal assaults, such as at Pickett's Charge, than Grant did in frontal assaults, such as Cold Harbor, even though that's the one that tended to saddle him with the reputation of being a butcher, a reputation he did not deserve. Thanks so much for watching. To see more of what we have to offer, click the videos on the right. And to receive notifications for more cool American history content, click subscribe.